Once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a young boy named Tom. Tom loved to dream big, and one of his biggest dreams was to speak English fluently. He would often watch movies in English and hear people from different countries talk in a language that seemed so smooth, clear, and full of energy. Tom wanted to be just like them. He believed that if he could learn English fast, he could connect with more people, travel the world, and even get a better job in the future. One day, while sitting under a big oak tree in his backyard, Tom whispered to himself, I wish I could learn English quickly, but it seems so hard. There are so many words and I'm afraid of making mistakes. Just then, his best friend, Lisa, came by. Lisa was a year older than Tom and had already started learning English a year before him. She could speak simple sentences and understand English movies much better than Tom. She could see the worry on Tom's face and asked, What's wrong, Tom? You look like you're thinking too hard. Tom sighed and said, I want to learn English fast, Lisa. But I don't know where to start. There are so many words and rules. It feels impossible. Lisa smiled. I used to feel the same way when I started learning English, she said but I've learned some secrets to learning it faster. Would you like to hear them? Tom's eyes lit up with hope. Of course, he said, sitting up straight. Lisa sat down next to him and began to explain, the first secret to learning English fast is to surround yourself with English. Listen to English music, Watch English shows and try to speak it as much as you can, even if you make mistakes. I listen to English songs every day, and I learn new words from them. Tom was surprised. But what if I don't understand what they are saying? How will I learn? That's okay. Lisa said with a laugh. At first, you won't understand everything. But over time, your brain will get used to the sounds. You will start recognizing words and phrases. The more you listen, the more you learn. Tom thought about it for a moment. He loved listening to music, and if learning English was as fun as listening to his favorite songs, then maybe it wasn't so hard after all. Okay, I'll try that. What else? The second secret, Lisa continued, is to practice speaking every day. You don't have to wait until you're perfect. Start now. Talk to me, talk to yourself, or even talk to your dog in English. The more you practice speaking, the faster you'll improve. But I feel embarrassed when I make mistakes, Tom admitted. Everyone makes mistakes when they are learning, Lisa reassured him. The important thing is to keep trying. Mistakes are a part of learning. If you don't make mistakes, you'll never know what you need to improve. Tom felt a little better. I guess you're right. I won't be afraid of mistakes anymore. I'll speak English every day, even if it's just a few words. That's the spirit. Lisa said, giving him a high five. There's one more secret I've learned. Reading. Read short stories, books, or even news articles in English. It helps you learn new words, grammar, 
and how sentences are formed. Tom smiled. That sounds fun. I love reading stories. I'll start reading in English too. As the sun began to set, Tom and Lisa made a promise to each other. They would practice English together every day, share new words they learned, and speak in English as much as they could. Tom was no longer afraid of learning English. With Lisa's tips, he felt confident and excited about the journey ahead. But little did Tom know, this was just the beginning of his adventure. There were many more challenges, surprises, and lessons waiting for him on his path to learning English. And with Lisa by his side, he was ready to face them all. A few days had passed since Tom and Lisa made their promise to practice English every day. Tom was feeling more excited about learning English, but he soon realized that it wasn't always easy. On some days, the words felt like they were swimming in his head, all jumbled up. He would mix up simple phrases like how are you? And how is you? And sometimes he even forgot the new words he had just learned. At breakfast, his mother noticed the worried look on his face and asked, Tom, are you okay? You seem upset. Tom looked up and sighed. Mom, I'm trying so hard to learn English fast, but it feels like I'm not making any progress. Lisa told me to practice every day, and I do, but it's still difficult. His mother smiled kindly and sat next to him. Tom, learning something new is always hard in the beginning. Think about when you learn it to ride a bike. Do you remember how many times you fell before you could ride it smoothly? Tom nodded. Yeah, I fell a lot. But did you give up? She asked. No, Tom said, I kept trying until I could write it. Exactly, his mother said, learning English is like learning to ride a bike. You're going to make mistakes at first, but every mistake is teaching you something. You just have to keep going and soon, things will get easier. Tom thought about what his mother said. Maybe he was being too hard on himself. Thanks, Mom, he said, feeling a little better. I guess I need to be more patient with myself. Later that day, Tom met Lisa at the park. They decided to practice speaking English while they played soccer. Lisa started by asking simple questions. Tom. What did you have for breakfast? Tom thought for a moment and said, I had a bread. Um, now a piece of bread and milk. Good job. Lisa said, smiling. But we say I had bread without A in front. Bread is uncountable. Oh, right. Tom said, laughing at his mistake. Thanks for helping me, Lisa. As they kicked the ball back and forth, Lisa shared another secret tip. Tom, do you know what helped me improve my English a lot? Tom shook his head. What? Talking to myself in English. Lisa said, When I'm alone at home or in my room, I pretend I'm having a conversation with someone in English. I ask myself questions and then answer them. It sounds a little silly, but it really works. Tom raised an eyebrow. Talking to yourself. 
Does that really help? Yes, it does. Lisa said confidently. It's a great way to practice speaking, and you don't have to worry about making mistakes because no one is listening. You can practice anytime, and it helps your brain get used to thinking in English. Tom was intrigued. That sounds fun. I'll try it tonight. That evening, Tom stood in front of the mirror in his bedroom. He felt a little strange at first, but he remembered Lisa's advice. Okay, he said to himself, let's pretend I'm talking to a friend. He looked at his reflection and said, Hello, Tom. How was your day? Then, he answered his own question, My day was good. I played soccer with Lisa and practiced English. As he continued talking to himself, Tom felt more relaxed. He realized that speaking English didn't have to be perfect all the time. It was okay to make mistakes because each mistake was a step forward. Days turned into weeks, and Tom noticed something surprising. He was getting better. His speaking was smoother, and he was making fewer mistakes. The English songs he listened to started to make more sense, and he could understand more words without looking them up. He even started to enjoy reading English books because he could follow the stories better. That's awesome, Lisa said, giving him a thumbs up. See, I told you it would work. But just when Tom was feeling confident, a new challenge appeared. The next day at school, Tom's teacher announced that there would be an English speaking competition in two weeks. Each student had to give a short speech in English in front of the whole class. Tom's heart sank. Speaking English with Lisa was one thing, but standing in front of the entire class. The thought made his stomach turn. What if I forget my words? He thought. What if I make a big mistake and everyone laughs at me? After school, Tom met Lisa at the park again. He told her about the competition, his hands shaking with nervousness. I don't think I can do it, Lisa. What if I mess up? I'm not ready to speak in front of so many people. Lisa looked at him with serious eyes and said, Tom, remember what we've learned. You don't have to be perfect. Everyone in our class is learning English, just like you. It's okay to make mistakes. The important thing is to try. But it's scary, Tom admitted. It's okay to feel scared, Lisa said gently. But you've worked so hard. You've practiced speaking every day. You've learned new words and you've gotten so much better. This is your chance to show how far you've come. Tom took a deep breath. He knew Lisa was right. He had come a long way since the day he first felt frustrated about learning English. But the fear of speaking in front of others still lingered. I'll help you, Lisa said with a smile. We can practice your speech together every day until the competition. You won't have to do it alone. Tom nodded, feeling a little braver. Okay, he said, let's practice. For the next two weeks, Tom and Lisa met every day after school. Tom practiced his speech over and over again. 
Sometimes he stumbled over his words, but each time he felt a little more confident. Lisa gave him tips on how to stand, how to speak slowly, and how to take deep breaths when he felt nervous. As the day of the competition approached, Tom realized something important. Learning English wasn't just about memorizing words or getting everything perfect. It was about being brave enough to keep trying, even when it felt difficult. The day of the English speaking competition had finally arrived. Tom stood backstage, his heart pounding in his chest. His hands were sweaty, and his mind raced with thoughts. What if I forget everything? What if I make a mistake? The familiar fear of speaking in front of people crept up again. Lisa, standing beside him, gave him a reassuring smile. You've got this, Tom. Remember, it's not about being perfect. Just do your best. You've practiced so much. And I know you'll do great. Tom nodded, trying to steady his breath. He thought back to the last few weeks, how he had practiced every day, spoken to himself in English, and learned from his mistakes. He had come so far, and he didn't want fear to stop him now. As his name was called. Tom walked to the front of the class. The room felt big, and all eyes were on him. He took a deep breath, just like Lisa had taught him. His speech was simple, but it was from the heart. Hello, everyone. My name is Tom, and today I want to talk about learning English. When I first started, I was scared. I made many mistakes, and I thought I would never get better. But I learned that mistakes are part of learning. Every day, I practice speaking English with my friend Lisa. I listen to English songs, read books, and even talk to myself in English. And slowly. I got better. Tom paused, looking around the room. He saw familiar faces: his classmates, his teacher, and Lisa smiling from the back. He continued, "I'm still learning, and I know I will make more mistakes, but that's okay. Learning takes time, and I'm proud of how far I've come." As Tom finished, there was a moment of silence, followed by applause. He couldn't believe it. He had done it. He had faced his fear and given his speech. And even though he had made a few small mistakes, no one laughed. In fact, they were cheering for him. After the competition. Lisa ran up to him and gave him a big hug. "I knew you could do it," she said, beaming with pride. Tom smiled, feeling a wave of relief and happiness. "Thank you, Lisa. I couldn't have done it without you." From that day on, Tom felt a new sense of confidence. He realized that learning English wasn't just about speed; it was about perseverance, courage, and believing in yourself. No matter how many mistakes he made, Tom knew that as long as he kept trying, he would keep improving. And so, Tom's journey to learning English continued, with new challenges and more exciting adventures ahead. In this final part of the story, Tom faces his fear, gives his speech, and learns the valuable lesson that progress is more important than perfection.
The story ends with a sense of accomplishment, leaving learners inspired and motivated to continue their own English learning journeys.